Uh, when you talk about the NHS, which is what we're doing at Bournemouth Hospital this morning, the cliche, of course, is to talk about the doctors and the nurses. There are, though, of course, so many others involved in cleaning, in cooking, but also in keeping a busy place like this functioning through the day and through the night as well. And I'm joined by two of them, by Nick Williams, who's Bournemouth Hospital's head porter, and by Jordan, Jordan Frankham, who's uh, uh, a clerk in the haematology and oncology ward. Morning to you both. Morning. Good morning. Brief description of what you do, first of all. Jordan, what, what, what is your daily uh, work involve? Uh, marking in people for appointments and for their uh, treatment times, but also having a chat, making sure people are on the right wavelength, feeling positive, looking forward to cracking on. Yeah, and I want to get back to that chatting aspect of it in a minute, because I suspect for both of you that's an important part of it. But again, Nick, the, the, the job spec is what? Yeah, I'm the uh, manager of the Porters Department. Um, within Bournemouth Hospital, we have 40 full-time staff and uh, so we have 15 bank porters, so it's a total of 55 staff running 24-hour um, shifts. And we cover a, a, a wide variety of tasks. You know, everyone thinks of the porters as transporting patients to and from x-ray, ward moves, but there's, there's an awful lot more to it. Um, and we just yeah. get on with it with yeah. a smile on the All faces. the challenges, basically. All the challenges. And we've had a guy in here this morning who obviously had mental health difficulties and also, I think, been to accident emergency. And, and those sorts of, of situations, people who are confused, people who are lost, I guess, occasionally. Unfortunately, that's all too familiar, you know, these days that, that um, myself and my team are called more and more often um, to assist the, the clinical teams um, with difficult patients, and a lot, uh, as I say, a lot of which have mental health uh, illnesses um, and bits and pieces like that. So it can be quite difficult and challenging at times. Now, Jordan, you mentioned right off when I asked you why you did, the, almost the second sentence was you're dealing with people. And I, is that why you're here? Because you could be doing this, doing what you do in, in any commercial uh, operation. I'm guessing you're not here for the money. What, what is it that attracted you? <laughs> um, just to be able to make light of a situation that isn't the best, to be able to put a smile on somebody's face and to distract them from something that they not necessarily want to be doing, but they need to do to be able to, to strive and to carry on with life. For me to be able to put a positive spin on something is just fantastic for me. It's not about the money, like you say. It's about caring for people and to be able to make a difference in people's yeah. lives. Because we talk endlessly about the structure of the NHS. It's terribly important. And we talk about the money, and that's <coughs> terribly important as well. But th there is something else, isn't there, to it and to everyone who works in it? Yeah, I mean, I, I've only been with the NHS for three years now, and I've found it such a big difference from what I've done previously. And it is very much people-orientated. Mm. Um, I spend a lot of my time walking around the hospital with my team and, and the amount of times we're stopped by members of the public, patients that are lost, confused, um, and it's just going that, that little extra mile with a smile on your face to, to assist them and to make their journey through the hospital, you know, comfortable because they're, when they're here, as Jordan will know, it's, you know, they're, it, they're stressed out. Mm. Um, because of their illnesses or, or you know, they're, they're, they're very nervous about what's about to happen. So our job is actually to, to lighten their day a little bit if we can. Yeah. And are you sufficiently included in the, in the hospital? Oh, yeah, absolutely. No matter who you are, be you a cleaner, ward clerk, porter, doctor, you, everybody is the same. You, you walk around, you still get a smile from everybody, no matter who you are, what you do, where you're from, everybody is the same, it's all inclusive. We also talk a lot on this program about the stresses that there are, and you mentioned from the porter's point of view that the, the kind of challenges that there are. It, do you? What would you like to see? Can I ask you both of this from your perspective, from doing what you do in the NHS? If you could change something, um, you're looking slightly frightened by the very idea of the question. Jordan, but if you could change something, you could make things work better. Have you got a sense of what it would be? That's a very, very difficult question. Uh, no, no wonder George but it's a question we endlessly yeah. ask of people at the top yeah. of organisations, but not often people are actually doing the, the, the no. nuts and bolts work of, of both of you, as both of you are. And I get the impression from you, I think people listening will get the impression you're both satisfied in your duty. You mm -hmm. like doing what you do, but what is I, it that could I, change? I think one of the biggest problems that the NHS faces at the moment is, is actually from the press, because it's dead easy to knock the NHS ah. the whole time. And, right. and actually, when, when you're sat there reading the news, you know, this report, the next report, the NHS is failing, this is failing, that's failing, it's so wrong. Actually, 
when we're really stressed out during the winter pressures, everyone pulls right. together mm. to deliver the there service. And Jordan is nodding at that, so <laughs> well, it's a very good moment at which to <laughs> end for the time being, because we'll be back uh, around the hospital later on. Nick Williams and Jordan Franklin, thanks both for it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much.